As we start to wrap up our build for the warrior armor suit, the greaves are next on our agenda. As the basics have been covered in other videos, we'll be jumping straight into the assembly, but you can find the patterns for this build and other videos in this series at the Prince Armory Academy. And this video is made with support from Weaver Leather Supply. The leather and tools you'll see me use in these videos can be found in their online store, which will have everything you need to make this build and so much more. This build is going to be really quick and easy. The patterns will have some helpful reference marks, so just keep those handy. Let's start by attaching the centerpiece part A with the side parts B1 and B2. We'll be using medium double capped rivets and a basic setter to join everything together. Just work your way up and down either side setting the rivets. The greaves are symmetrical from left to right and we don't have to worry about any complex articulations on these, nor do we need to do any advanced shaping on the backs of the greaves. This design covers the front and the sides of the lower legs, but it doesn't have the backs. Next you'll move on and start attaching part C. Things may start to look a little awkward as the shape starts to form, but just stay the course. Now we need to attach the topmost piece, which will cover the knee, and we'll need to do just a little bit of shaping here. You can stretch the leather over any domed object or just work it out by hand. And here too, things will probably start to look a little lumpy. But once you finish setting the rivets, you can bend the greave into its final shape and pop out the knee section. and you can spend a little time here to refine the shape of the knee area to your preference. You can also flare out the base of the greave at the bottom to aid in comfort, and any shaping you do is going to help firm up the armor overall. Then you can dye and finish the piece in whatever color you want. I'm using Black Pro Oil Dye here to stay consistent with the rest of the suit. And then I'll finish the piece with Weaver Stuff Coat and Clear, which will help firm things up a bit too. And the last step is to attach some buckle straps. I suggest you put the greaves on and mark the buckle locations from there. You should use anywhere from 2 to 4 buckles per greave, and I'm using 1 inch width buckles here, but they can be smaller than that and still hold fine. And if you need some help making the buckle straps, there's a free guide and pattern pack at the Prince Armory Academy.
And now you can just rivet the buckles into place, and then you'll be done. I hope you enjoy the build and find interesting ways to make it your own. I'm really excited for all the builds and tutorials in the works, so subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon with the next tutorial.